Hi, this is Jana. Today I'd like to show you how you can bring your scan data into WordUserve and how you get started with WordUserve. Uh, once you uh, run WordUserve from your desktop, uh, you will see WordUserve window and the welcome screen. And if you don't have any um, scan data yourself or any WordUserve project yet, you can download an example project from a special WordUserve website. You can reach the website by pressing this button. Um, also, if you already have a WordUserve project, you can open it uh, via this button or you can select it from the recent projects list. Um, but today I like to show you how you can start from scratch with a new uh, WordUserve project. So first you hit create new project button and you are prompted for a project name. Um, this is the headquarter of Qubit and we want to store it. You can browse to the directory but I will store it in my examples data folder. I click create and you see in the project explorer we now have the project which is still empty. If I right click on the project name, I have several object options. I can save the project, I can close it, I can import scans, which I will demonstrate in a few minutes. And I, if I already have uh, scans which I've uh, imported it to, to, to any other project, I could add those scans to this pro new project as well uh, by hitting this button. And I just have to browse for the folder where the, my WordSurf scans lie and I get a list and can select from that. But um, if I don't have any WordSurf data yet, I need to import my scan files. So I go to, can select the button from the menu bar or I can right click on the project name and go to import scans, opens the same dialog. And um, I can I have to select a scan unit, so I have to know uh, in which unit the scan was taken. We have a section of different uh, scan units. Usually, if you have Faro scans, the scan unit will be meters. That's the default setting. You can also do some resampling with every second, every third, and so on point. But I always recommend to use every point so it takes every point it finds in the original scan data. If you have PTX files or other files which sometimes are um, stored upside down or something and you want to check if the data will be imported correctly you can uh, do some um, uh, test import with a higher resampling rate and see and if you see it's upside down you can choose the appropriate setting um, during the file import for PTX files for instance. Use the browse button to browse to your scan data. I have here a scan project of our Qubit headquarters. It's a Faro scan project LS approach. Here we have listed um, other um, import formats which are supported by WordSurf like E57, Leica files, PTX I mentioned already, PTG can be imported as well, PTZ, or you can import Topcon, Zoller and Freilich, um, and so on. So here I have a Faro project, so I like select the, the LS approach file, go to open, and it takes a few seconds to for WordSurf to open the data. Now WordSurf is listing all the single scans which, which are contained in my Faro project and I can either select to import them all or I can decide just to import three of them or a certain number. Then I hit OK and the import will start Please note that the import 
uh, of of many uh, scans will take uh, several minutes um, depending on the project size and resolution it may also take uh, several hours because Virtusurf is creating an optimized Virtusurf format so after import the uh, file scans can be opened immediately and very fast so the investment is just to be faster in using the files in the end. Once the import is finished, you will get a completion me message which you just uh, confirm with OK and you will see the new imported, newly imported scans in the Project Explorer added to the project. And for each scan, if you right click on it, you have the option to remove the scan, to save the scan itself or to open it as RGB or as um, intensity um, as, uh, scan view. You can open them the scans by double clicking in the Project Explorer um, or you can also select more than just just one scan and do right click and say true color RGB and all the um, all the scans will be open. You can arrange the scans side by side if you want to and this is how you can work with them. You have the scan map which shows which scans are selected and uh, all those uh, three windows, the Project Explorer, the scan map and the scan view window with all the scan views in them, they correspond with each other so you can switch between scan views by clicking in the Project Explorer or by clicking in the scan view. After you have imported the data and opened scan views, you can use the scan data for your evaluation. You can um, measure single um, coordinates by picking the points in the scan view and in the status windows you will get the um, coordinate data. Here we have it in millimeters. Note you can switch the uh, unit, the measurement unit, to meters or to any other um, unit you'll need uh, for your evaluation. You can also change the precision of the measurements. You can choose where uh, what the decimal markers lo should look like or you can decide whether you want to have a thousand group marker or not. Okay, so once more if I measure a coordinate like here of this checkerboard over here, just pick the center of it, get a marker there and get the coordinate of that in my local or in my scan coordinate system. I can also take measurements for distances. Let me just pick here and there and note I don't only get the 3D distance but also the horizontal distance and the vertical distance down here in my status bar. If I have a full license of VirtuSurf I may also use um, the direct link to Revit or to AutoCAD, to Out Revit, to AutoCAD. We also have a direct link to BricsCAD and we have a generic link to any Windows software uh, which can be used uh, in combination with, with different uh, CAD systems. Um, all these CAD links will be covered in different videos. Um, please note that sometimes um, the colored scan view uh, might be not as uh, as good as the intensity view for taking our measurements. So uh, we can, in order to serve, we can switch to uh, intensity view instead of the colored 
RGB scan view and this gives us sometimes more contrast so we can pick um, certain points with much more accuracy if we need to. Once more let me pick the distance between two points Okay, so you have learned how to import scan data into VirtuServe and once you've imported it, how to measure distances and uh, 3D coordinates. Um, so this was brief getting started into VirtuServe. You will learn more uh, fu about functionality of VirtuServe in, in other tutorial videos. Thanks for your attention. Bye.